Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the drive through Thursday here at Big John TV. We're in the house today. We got something new, something different. This almost could have gone to a Funky Food Friday. It's not. We're going to do a drive through Thursday. First time ever, we're going to Costco for our quick bite. I think that totally fits. Uh, drive through Thursday, anything in the, trend, in the world of fast food, quick bites, um, easy grab and go items, um, things that are trending in the world of food, that's what, that's what we go to look for. Uh, Costco has recently made, actually it's been kind of, uh, what's what I'm looking for, controversial decisions at food courts around the world, at least around, at least around here. Uh, you can no longer, no longer get Polish dogs, you can only get hot dogs, you can no longer get chocolate frozen yogurt, you can only get vanilla and the acai berry flavor, which costs more. Um, you can get the plain vanilla for one price, but now the mix costs more. And an acai energy bowl, they call it. We should have got one of those too, but it's hot and it would have melted on the way home. They have a new salad, a new Al Pastor yep. salad. Comment down below, what's your favorite kind of taco meat? Because this one's Pastor, which should be and is a marinated pork product, I believe, without doing any solid research. But I'm, I'm pretty sure it's pork seasoned up. One of my favorites, actually, in tacos would be Pastor. My or favorite meat is lengua and chicken. Lengua and chicken, there you go. She's fancy with the cow tongue. She likes it. Um, so this is what you get for five bucks. Do not spill that on the table. This is a hefty bowl of salad and a ton of meat on the top. It is $4.99, a little bit pricey for Costco Quick Foods, to be honest with you. Um, let's see a quick the salad sells for $4.99 and it's made of chopped romaine, black beans and fresh vegetables and banh mi vegetables huh? and dressing. Now banh mi, that's a Vietnamese style, typically in sandwiches. I don't know the exact definition of what banh mi style would be unless they're pickled. So they might have a little bit more of a bite to them than just plain vegetables. So it'll be interesting to see what we find in, in this mix. And then it's topped with pastor, which is typically a Mexican Mexican fare food, right? And not fair food, but you know what I mean, Mexican fare. Um, <clears throat> so two different styles of food in one bowl. A little bit confusing. All right, let's take a bite first. Maddie's like, well, what is it? What is it? She thinks, she thinks we're trying to play a prank on her or something. Um, there is a couple. Because mom was like, oh, I'll tell you after you eat it, which is what you normally do. Yeah, that's true. Something so nasty. let's take a bite of it plain, and then we'll get some salad dressing on it and go from there. I'll hold it up so the camera can still see it. This is really hard. To I'm going to go straight for the meat. I mean, that's the... What? Do you like it? It's okay. All right. Now let's find. You don't like it? No, I don't like it at all. Let's dig around in here. I'm trying to see what else I can find. There are. I don't know. Dig around there and find some more stuff. I don't know if that's a. Could be cucumber. Could be jalapeno. I hope cucumber. Not. So there's the banh mi style. Sliced up, diced up, little tiny cubes of cucumber. Cucumbers are typical in a, in a banh mi style sandwich. It's not pickled at all though. It just tastes like regular cucumber to me. There's strips of... You're dropping meat on my arm. I am. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, so you want some salad dressing on it too now real quick? Sure. That looks like nacho cheese. Try it. Plain. Does not taste like nacho cheese. No, it's actually kind of sour, a little bit bitter. Do you want to put that on there or no? I have no idea. Just start out with a tiny bit, just in case I don't like it. There's a bit of some seasoning from the from the pastor. Where's sure right. that fell on your shirt? Somewhere. Okay. Do you like this, Alan? Yeah. Okay. It's okay. All right. It's not the best, but it's not the worst All right, either. so this is the new Pastor salad from Costco. Are you ready? I'm scared. For the twist? 
kind of meat is that? Wait, what? What if I, it is pastor, that's no lie. What if I told you that that's not meat at all? What? You wanna try a bite? Oh! Game? Is it egg? It's not egg. It is. What is it? Soy protein marinated in al pastor seasonings. So it's like tofu. Horrible. I hate tofu. <laughs> but don't, then don't say tofu because she likes this. So this has no meat. This is completely vegetarian. Um, I've been. I was reading something back and forth, different websites. The 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 dressing. Okay, now I get it. The dressing itself. Yeah. I'm sure you do. <laughs> All of a sudden, now I don't like it. Um, the sauce, the dressing itself, has. I, I, I did read though that some somewhere they're starting to make them actually vegan. So I can't confirm or deny it that at this point. But originally, this still had egg in it, so it could not be labeled as vegan. That's why I thought this stuff was egg because Mom said something about egg earlier. With this. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about. So. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. So, it couldn't be labeled as vegan, but it is vegetarian. Everything in there is vegetarian. Now, if they've gotten the eggs out of here, maybe it is fully vegan. I don't know. I don't care either. That was gross. That meat, that pastor. Not me. The, the seasoning on it is like gritty and sandy, for starters. The chewing texture of it is mushy. It's not slimy, but there's no, there is no texture to that. Um, I'm glad you like it, so somebody in this house might actually be able to enjoy it. I'm I don't have a like yes I'm biased obviously I'm a meat guy, but there have been some vegetarian options that we've had on different food shows in the past on this channel. Fish sticks, fish sticks, um, hot dogs, fried chicken, all meatless. So like there are some things that. I'll eat. That's that's gross. I would never buy that again from Costco. Never, never, ever, ever. I mean, it's not that bad. I, I'm I'm glad you dig it. I, I'm good for you. Like without the meat on there, without the the pastor on there, it would be a decent salad. That's for sure. Um, I would like it if it was real meat. You wouldn't like it. No, I would. You would like it more, of course. You're my daughter, so I would expect that. But. <laughs> But we're getting your taste buds used to different things early in your life, and that's fine. I do not. Let me get. Let me get one more bite. A big hefty bite with the dressing and the salad and everything else. Let, let and me, the meat. Let me give it a better. You know what this needs is some cheese and some bacon. <laughs> mm. Yeah, you can't argue with that one, huh? Nope, not at all. Are these bell peppers? Try it. I don't know. They probably are. <clears throat> I hate it less <laughs> as a full entire bite. The, the seasoning on it is really aggressive. I don't know if there might be some bell pepper hiding in there. There is definitely, um, did I say bell pepper? Mm -hmm. Okay, there might be some jalapeno hiding in there. I'm not entirely sure, but I there are bell peppers. There is a spice in there. I'm not sure if it's from those or from the, the seasoning on the meat itself, which is kind of nice. Honestly, mixed all together, I don't hate it. I don't hate it as much. You didn't see me, you know, want to spit it out. Just the, just the just the pastor by itself was gross. That wasn't that that was not a good bite. The overall bite now saved it a little bit. I still would not buy it again. But if you're trying to get away from meat, you might be able to talk yourself into thinking that's meat. That that might satisfy that craving for some some for some protein, right? She digs it, so that there you go. It's not complete garbage, right? I mean, it's like 50/50, but you're more worried about the bell peppers than you are the fake meat, though, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, really, really heavy on the chili powder. 
overboard, borderline aggressive. Yeah. So there you go, guys. Costco has a new vegetarian option on their menu. Um, if you're mad at them for taking the Polish dog away, comment down below. Tell me, were you a Polish or a hot dog fan? I never got the Polish dog. I didn't care. I'm, I like the, hot, the regular hot dog better anyway. So that doesn't bother me. I think it's lame they got rid of the chocolate frozen yogurt. Um, I'm okay with giving healthy options. That's fine. I'm not opposed Wait, to Wait, why exactly did they get rid of the chocolate? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me either, either because... Chocolate's the best flavor. Why, I, why not just offer a third flavor? Like, why is it got to, like, why do you have to get rid of one to then introduce another? You know, you know what I mean? Like, they offer, like, the machines a... machines only have two spigots. Well, so they'll make a third. I, I don't know. But I, I, to me, it's like if McDonald's, McDonald's has apple slices as options in their Happy Meals for kids. Awesome. Fabulous. But then would you get rid of the French fries, like, entirely? No. Because people still want those, too. So I, I don't know. Like, I, from the hubbub I see on the internet about Costco getting rid of Polish dogs. They may have messed up, so they may have to go back, to, at least to that. And then the chocolate frozen yogurt, that's a whole different battle. So I I think they're, you know, they're angling at a healthier, healthier options, which, so be it, that's fine. Don't necessarily beat about the other menu though, because of that, in my opinion. All right, so El Pastor style, style. Salad at Costco, $4.99. It is completely vegetarian. You can't quote me on the vegan, but I can say for certain, with, with certainty, 100% certainty, that it is vegetarian. It's the spice the, gains up on you. It does. It's a little bit. That's what I'm saying. It's a bit aggressive. It, it lingers on the tongue. The sauce is what makes it not vegan. That may be changing too. I don't know. Not my world. Vegetarian for sure. Go check it out. If that interests you. Comment down below. Um. If you've tried it and what your thoughts are on it, something different. And I don't, I'm done with it. I don't want any more. You want to buy it? Nope, no Give it to chicken. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Uh, Drive through Thursdays. I already told you what it's about. Any suggestions, thoughts, things that you've seen that you want to try but hesitant on? You know, shout out down below. Maybe I'll get to it. Uh, find Big John. Uh, Big John. Big John. Find Big John on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Patreon. Thanks for watching. Good job eating more salad than me, Maddie. Had I told you it was veg vegetables before, would you have eaten it? Mm -hmm. I don't think you would have. Probably not. Probably not. Maddie's really, she, she can be very adventurous with food, but sometimes we have to be a little bit sneaky to get her to be adventurous. Like cow tongue. He said... Here, try this delicious chicken. No, I, I told you it was cow. I told you it was beef. I remember telling you it was Whatever. beef, which I didn't lie to you Same about thing. it. But I did not use the word tongue until after you decided that you liked it. Yeah, that's what you got to do sometimes. All right, let's go. Wrap it up. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in the next one. Bye. See you.